Nigeria has been identified to have the worst cancer mortality rate in Africa as four out of every five patients die from the ailment. To change this narrative, the federal government has partnered with advocacy groups in the country to sensitize the public on the dangers of the disease and encourage early detection. Adesha Odushaga has more in this report. Statistics from the Nigerian National Cancer Control Plan have revealed that no more than 72,000 Nigerians die every year from cancer diseases, with 102,000 new cases recorded yearly. These disturbing statistics have triggered interest groups like the Project MOM to come up with advocacy strategies for a comprehensive cancer control. This group, in collaboration with the federal government, organized this cancer dance event in memory of Juliet Magbo and others who lost the fight to cancer. After my mom died, I noticed that there's really no awareness when it comes to dealing with the fallback of cancer when in regards to the family. There's really no support for the families. And I know how hard it is mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. Going through dealing with cancer can drain your account in like a flash. So I know the effects it has on the family. Up till now, my family is still trying to pick up the pieces. So I know what these families are going through. So I've decided to stand in the gap for them and take a stand for the families. On its side, the Minister for Women Affairs, Paul Talent, says the government is committed to safeguarding and improving health of the nation as it mostly relates to cancer. Women, as you may be aware, have the right to enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of physical and mental health. The enjoyment of this right is vital to their life and well-being. However, health and well-being often elude majority of women. Good health is essential to leading a productive and fulfilling life. And the right of all women to control all aspects of their health in particular, their own fertility is basic to their empowerment. As a ministry charged with the promotion of women's rights, health and reproductive health rights, we are encouraged by this initiative and would like to commend Project Mom for its efforts. The government has also been charged to match its words with action by providing improved and accessible facilities across the country to better fight the disease. The truth is, uh, in doing this, we've had one or two, uh, event, uh, one or two uh, progress come up. Like, at least sometime in 2017, Comfort Oyayi Daniel, who was a cancer survivor, or who was a cancer champion, uh, stood in front of the Minister of Health, the then Minister of Health, and then told him that she had to take, she had to spend a whole lot of money to go to Lagos to just go have a radiotherapy, uh, treatment and then come back to Abuja. And right there, the Minister of Health told her that I promise you that before the end of the year, we're going to have a therapy machine working, available working at the National Hospital. And I tell you, before the end of the year, I think at about December or about January, we had the uh, Minister of Health, the then Minister of Health, commissioned the therapy machine, new therapy machine in the National Hospital. So, yes, we've had a few progress. We had uh, the bill that was being raised by the former Senator, Senator Mao Habunwa, on the Institute for Cancer Control in Nigeria, also being passed. So, we're also, we're not going to stop because it's not advocacy is not something that stops at this point we just keep moving it that bill was passed we're now trying to move for implementation of the bill and then funding as well so yes we've had a few progress but then we can do more in 2018 nigeria launched a five-year cancer control plan with the goal of reducing cancer prevalence and mortality rate but with very little financial allocation to the health sector it seems the country that would have to review this vision to win the war against cancer Adesha Wadushoga, TV360 Lagos, Nigeria.